Hey teacher fam, thanks for joining us today. Today I'm going to show you how to take a Google Doc and insert it into a Bitmoji classroom so that when students click on the link to access the Google Doc, it makes a copy for them, individual separate for them to edit and turn in as an individual assignment. All right, here we are in my wife's um, classroom. This is her English classroom. I'm actually going to go uh, <coughs> back to her home screen. Here we are in my wife's English classroom. She's welcoming students into her class today. You can see her, her buttons at the bottom. Um, I think we're going to do a video on that. That got a pretty good response when we put it in the, um, the Bitmoji group on Facebook. So I'll show you how to make those buttons later. But right now, what we're going to do is go to slide two, which she has fashioned as a sort of minimalistic version of her Bitmoji classroom. It says click here to open your copy of today's worksheet. And what you do is click that and voila, copy document would you like to make a copy of and there's the lesson for the student now they can get their own copy how do we do that it's very simple let's go over the slide deck here we'll notice on slide two it's a text link that we have here here's the template that she wants students to fill out and we're going to highlight this url i'm going to copy it but i'm just going to show you something here i'm going to delete edit and insert the word copy at the very end. I'm going to copy that. So I've modified the URL. So it ends with slash copy uh, where it before it said slash edit. I'm going to go back to the slide. I'm going to highlight this word here, go insert link, and then I'm going to paste the, the link with the copy. And now it actually forces a copy. That's it. The slides are already embedded in canvas. You can see that uh, over here and Students can get their own copy of a Google Doc from a Bitmoji classroom embedded in Canvas. All right, I hope you enjoyed this, um, this tip. Hopefully it's useful. Leave us a comment. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know what other ideas for future tutorials you might have, what questions you have. Uh, leave us a comment. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.